Hello! Thank you so much for joining us and for watching our beautiful mushroom vlog adventure. It's a Saturday morning, we have everybody out, the whole crew, and we're really excited to, to make some mushroom vlogs. Unfortunately, we start the day with a broken bit. The bit that we use for drilling the holes on the logs is a stop bit so that you don't drill too far down into the log and they're a little fickle and a little bit delicate. Here you can see the, the holes and the setup and Dave is showing us what it's like to be a solo operation at the drilling station but as we all know teamwork is so much better and here we have Jay and Dave working together. They drill about seven holes on a side and then they rotate it and they might get four or five uh, rows on the log. Once they have drilled all of the holes, Dave takes them over to the sporing station and that's where we start to fill these beautiful logs with all of the beautiful mushroom spores. We have some pretty ingenious men over here. <laughs> Jay with his setup to relieve the tension. <laughs> We have this special tool that takes just about the perfect amount of uh, material and you place it into the holes that were drilled on the log and you can see here that they're filling the holes just all the way to the top. doing some quality control. It's simple enough to miss a hole, so just make sure that you get them all. You don't want to miss any opportunities for delicious mushrooms. And now it's going to be time to wax over all of the holes and protect them from little critters and the elements. The wax is food grade and Adam adds some hot chili pepper to the wax and this helps deter any critters, bugs, mice, things like that. Animals really love to eat wax and they like to eat the mushroom spores. You can see them just dabbing on the wax and covering up all of the holes. And you also want to make sure that you cover any cuts on the branches, like where a branch might have been cut off the larger piece or a cut or a gash. You just want to cover anything that's not really covered in bark um, so that it doesn't rat out or doesn't get any damage. And uh, you also want to wax over the ends to protect them and seal them. And then the very last step, you can see Adam in the back, he is putting on a tag on the end of the log and this says the type of mushroom and the date, and it helps keep it organized. Another successful day making mushroom logs. A real team effort, and so yummy. 